Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. This is a technical skills video on the topic of conversions between percentage and decimals. And we begin with uh, the topic of uh, how we go from percent to, de to a decimal. And then after this, we'll talk about how to go from a decimal to percentage. Uh, for percent to decimal, the manner that we can do that is to divide by 100. Uh, and uh, we do so by moving the decimal point back over two digits. As an example of this, we have 48%. Now in 48%, uh, we have to divide this by 100, of course. And so what we can do is uh, take the decimal point, as you can see here, which is on the right end of 48, and then move it back over two digits. Back over one, back over two, and we get 0.48. Now it's nice to put a zero on the whole side in case uh, in case there is nothing there, uh, because as I mentioned in earlier videos uh, when we talk about decimals, uh, it's it's so easy to, to sort of miss the decimal point uh, if if the zero is not there, and uh, and that makes a huge difference. Like in the case uh, if you have only one digit, uh, missing the decimal point makes the value ten times larger. If you have two digits, two decimal digits, like I have here, uh, if you drop the decimal point, this value becomes a hundred times larger. So these are not small changes. Uh, and so it's, uh, it's common, it's highly, highly recommended that you should put the zero down. And therefore we end up with uh, 0 0.48. Problem number two, we have 30%. And again, we uh, place the decimal point in 30, which is on the right end and move it back over two digits because percent means divide by 100. And uh, when you divide by 100, decimal point moves back over two digits. That's one, two. So we end up with 0 0.30. Uh, now, of course, we can add a zero to the left. And the question of whether you keep this zero on the right end or not, uh, if it's an exact value, if the uh, discussion is exact, in which case you should actually use fractions, uh, then you can actually drop the zero. If the value is measured, then uh, zero may be significant uh, in the sense that it may point to uh, a higher level of accuracy in the measured value. Uh, this is something I will discuss later in the, in the videos on measurement systems. Uh, but for now, we allow the, uh, that we drop it and we can write it down just as uh, 0.3. So 30%, uh, you can write it down as 0 0.30, which is 30 hundredths or you can write it down as 0 0.3, which is 3 tenths. Okay, now we look at 2%. Now in this case, uh, we, have, uh, we don't have enough digits to move the decimal point over. But all that means is that we have to add uh, zeros. Uh, so the decimal point is on the right hand. We move it back over one, two digits, and we add a zero we end up with 0 0.02, add a zero on the whole side, and now we have 0 0.02. So 2%, which is 2 out of 100, is the same as 2 hundredths. Makes perfect sense. Math. Number four, 235%, same idea. We put 235 down, decimal point is on the right hand, move it back over one, two digits, and we get 2.35. So you see if you have more than 100% uh, or even 100%, the whole side will not be zero. If you have less than 100, such as 48, 32, then uh, the whole side will be zero, of course. Okay, next we have uh, a value that begins with a decimal, 6.9%. And this one is even easier because we know where the decimal point is because it's there. So we take the decimal point and we move it back over one, two digits. That means adding a zero and we end up with 0 0.069. Add the zero on the whole side just to be nice and we get 0 
now we have 0.7%. And we do the same. Take the decimal point and move it back over one, two digits. Add a zero if necessary. And we get 0 0.007. We add a zero on the whole side. And the final answer is 0 0.007 or seven thousandths. Problem seven uh, begins with a fraction. And of course, we want to get a decimal from this. Uh, it means that we have to do two things. At some point, we have to change the fraction to a decimal. And then we have to deal with the percent, which means divide by 100. And you can do these uh, steps. You can take them in any order that you want, except that the first one is easier. Uh, you can keep that in mind uh, by reminding yourself that uh, if, if you need to get rid of a fraction, uh, get rid of it as soon as you can. Uh, so in this case, we do a division of 2 by 5. I'm not touching the percent right now. Uh, just 2 fifths, we're going to do that division. 5 into 2 goes 0 times. Decimal point, add a 0. Now this time, I'm taking. I'm not taking shortcuts. I did put the decimal point down. Uh, goes in 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract, and you get 0. So uh, 2 fifths becomes 0 0.4. And therefore, we can write the problem that, that we are dealing with, two-fifths of a percent, as 0.4% or four-tenths of a percent. Uh, now we deal with the, with the percentage, and that means divide by 100. Uh, we take 0 0.4 and move the decimal point back over one, two digits. Add a zero, and we end up with 0 0.004. And we put a zero on the whole side. So we end up with 4,000. Uh, the alternative uh, was to deal with the percent first, and that's something I don't recommend. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, you're just going to end up with a, a, with a division that's uh, a bit more annoying uh, compared to 2 fifths. Uh, here we divided 2 by 5, but now we have to divide 2 by 500. And just to show you uh, how much work that is, even if you reduce it to 1 over uh, 250, uh, it would be the same. And uh, I should have reduced perhaps, but we'll go with uh, 2 divided by 500. And so uh, 500 into 2 doesn't go. We put a 0, then put the decimal point, add a 0. 500 into 20, 0 times. Add a 0. 500 into 200, 0 times. Add a 0. 500 into 2,000, 4 times. 4 times 500 is 2000 subtract to get zero so we end up with the same value that we had 0 0.004 but you notice how annoying it was uh, to keep track of how many zeros we need to put down at the top so the first approach is better get rid of your fraction right away and then division by zero moves the decimal point back over two digits Okay, now we go the other way. Uh, we want to uh, convert uh, decimals to percentage. And the question of how, again, we multiply by 100%. Uh, and uh, because we have decimals to begin with, we can multiply by 100 uh, by moving the decimal point forward over two digits. Let's say we have uh, 0 0.32 or 32 hundredths. We multiply this by 100%. And that means decimal point moves forward over two digits. And we end up with 32 point. We can drop both the point and the zero to get 32. So we have 32%. Problem number two, we have 0 0.2. And again, we have to multiply this by 100%. And what that means is that the decimal point uh, moves forward over two digits. One. Add a zero, and we end up with 20. So we get 20%. Problem number three, we have uh, 0 0.07. Uh, as before, we have to multiply this by 100%. We take the decimal point in 0 0.07, and then move it forward over one, two digits. That gives us 7. And so we have 
Again, you notice how it does make sense. So for example, this is seven hundredths, and this is seven pieces out of a hundred pieces, seven percent. Problem number four, we have 0 0.054. Uh, and again, uh, we multiply by 100%. Take the decimal point and move it forward over one, two digits. And we end up with 5.4. So 5.4%. Now problem 5 uh, has a whole site that's not 0. We have 9.8. And you should expect if the whole site is not 0, you either have 100% or more than 100%. Uh, 9.8, we multiply by 100%. And to do that, we uh, do, the, do the multiplication by 100 by moving the decimal point forward over 1 two digits, add a zero, and we get 980. So the answer to the problem is 980%. Thanks as always for watching my videos and uh, I wish you all a great day or evening or night wherever you are. And for now I will be gone in three, two, and one.